I've got five mistakes you need to avoid when you're making your podcast. And by the time we wrap this episode in just a few minutes, you will be well on your way to making fantastic podcast episodes. I'm Leighton Hart, and you're listening to Podcasting for Fun and Profit. The goal for this podcast is for you to learn one or two things every week that you can apply to your podcast to have more fun, to make a show your listeners will love, and that maybe even puts a little money in your pocket along the way. All right, let's get right to it. Five mistakes every podcaster needs to avoid. Number five is having a long intro. We've already talked about this on this show before, but I'll mention it here again. The listener's appetite for any kind of intro is very, very low, and it's getting lower all the time. With YouTube and with TikTok, our brains are just getting trained to, to desire and respond to instant stimulation, a fast hook. And, and I really believe this bleeds over into podcasting. So listeners are looking for any excuse to click over to another show and your long intro is just the excuse they need. Don't give them an excuse to click away. Keep them in your show, shorten your intro. Number four is posting your audio without editing. Now, when I say editing, I don't mean that it, means it needs music and sound effects and all that stuff. If you wanna do that, that's great, but it's not necessary. When I say editing, I simply mean that it needs to be cleaned up. You need to trim any silence off the beginning and end. You need to work through the bulk of the episode and take out long silences. Now, even one or two seconds of silence can feel like a long time when you're listening to something. You don't have something visual to look at. So trim that stuff out. To give you an example of how long two seconds sounds, listen to this. That was two seconds. Can you believe that? That felt like an eternity even for me, and I'm sitting here recording this. So you'll be surprised if you can take out these small pauses, these small little one or two second gaps, you'll be surprised how much that picks up the pace of your episode. And it also helps to edit a bit if you or your guest has any crutch words they use. Tell me if you're guilty of saying um, or ah, uh, or uh, or you know, or like, or any of those crutch words. I do it all the time. The only reason I'm doing not doing it right now is because I've scripted this episode and I have a nice tight outline. So I'm not throwing in a bunch of crutch words. You don't have to pull out every single one of these crutch words, but removing as many as you can will be a huge gift to your listener. Mistake number three is winging it. So if you're up against a deadline or you've procrastinated on recording your show, you may be tempted to just hit record and see what happens, thinking that your audience will somehow be like charmed or uh, by how real or unvarnished you can be. Now, the people who can do that, some people can do that, but the people who can do that and then still deliver something that actually your audience will enjoy, that group of people is very, very small. So fight the urge to just wing it. Even if you take a few minutes to outline a few bullet points or do some Googling about your topic, it will pay off. Listen, it will pay off. So put in a little bit of prep work, please. Number two, mistake number two, is joking about how small your audience is. Have you been this person that says, oh, thanks for listening, mom and grandma, and, and you're the only ones listening? Let's get one thing straight. The vast majority of podcasts, most podcasts have very small audiences, real small. According to Buzzsprout, which is one of the world's biggest podcast hosts, they have all kinds of data right at their fingertips. The average podcast episode gets 27 listens. The average podcast episode gets 27 listens, which means that if you're getting 28 listens or more per episode, you're an above average podcaster. But let's think about also what you're inadvertently telling your listeners when you make jokes like that. You're saying two things. First, you're saying that you don't really appreciate them because even though they're here listening, you don't think they count. And second, you're telling them they made a mistake being here listening because anyone with any sense would be off listening to something else. Imagine if you, know, you were gonna throw a party at your house and you were expecting 50 people and four people came and you, you, you know, at the party you go, well, man, I hate that nobody came. Well, guess what? How is that gonna make the four people who came feel when you say nobody came and these people have dressed themselves up, driven across town, brought you, you know, a casserole to serve at this potluck and, you know, a hostess gift for being at this party. 
How is that going to make them feel when you say nobody came? Not real good. Just be grateful for the people who do come to listen and then just always strive to make a show that's worth sharing and listening to and more people will come. And number one is running out of steam during your episode. I tell my clients all the time that something weird happens when you record a podcast and it's that the mic and the software and the publishing gear and all that stuff, it will suck out about 20% of the energy that you bring to the recording. So even if you feel like you're perky and having a nice casual conversation, by the time your listener hears it, you're going to sound slow and tired. In podcasting, managing your energy is everything. Even if the pace of your show slows down a little bit from the beginning of the episode to the end of the episode, so you're getting into heavier stuff, deeper topics, you're, you're getting real with somebody or you're unpacking just a really meaty topic. Even if the pace slows down, you got to keep the energy up. It's critically important to keep the energy constant throughout. Listen up. If you feel tired making the episode, Imagine how the listener feels listening to it. Yeah. <laughs> so now you know five mistakes every podcaster needs to avoid in order to make great podcast episodes. For more coaching on how to make a better podcast, come right back here to this same spot next week. I'm Leighton Hart, and I'll talk to you soon.